Now, ladies and gentlemen, you may not know this, but there's a house seat in contention. There's a race in Oregon going on. Remember this guy, Wu? Boy, Wu was about as crazy as they could be. Well, he had to leave the Senate seat. Well, there's a special election going on there. And there's a, a conservative Republican running by the name of Rob Cornelius for Congress. How are you, sir? I'm well, Mark. Thanks so much for having me on. I hope I pronounced that correctly. How do you pronounce your list? Well, I pronounce it Cornelius, but you can pronounce it any way you need to. <laughs> no, Cornelius is it. Now, tell us about your, you know, how close this race is and how important it is. Well, we're in a statistical dead heat right now, and I will tell you that the election which takes place next Tuesday, January 31st, the same day as the Florida primary, this is be an opportunity for us to elect a Republican in a district which includes downtown Portland, Oregon, that hasn't seen a Republican since 1974. And the fact that we're this close, this late, is a sign, I think, of what's about to happen throughout the country. And we in Oregon have an opportunity to actually start the tidal wave that we saw back in the, in the fall of 2010, begin it this year on the West Coast with this huge upset which we're about to create. Now, in addition to parts of Portland, what other towns are included? Well, Washington County is really the epicenter of economic activity in Oregon. It includes Hillsboro, the city of Hillsboro, the city of Beaverton. These are homes to such companies as Intel. Intel, obviously, is, is uh, the headquarters is in Northern California, but the largest, the largest contingency of employees of Intel, 16,000 of them, are actually located in my district. It's the home of Nike as well, the home of Columbia Sportswear. So it's a very high-tech driven sector. Uh, of our country. It's uh, apparel and sportswear, it's fisheries, it's timber, it's small businesses, it's the Oregon wine country, and it's the business section of downtown. It's one of the most uh, one of the most diverse districts in the country, and we also have three port cities right here on the Pacific Rim. So a victory for you there, that would be a real blow uh, to the Democrats in that state, and nationally, I take it. Well, that's why right now, Mark, they're actually throwing about $2 million into this race in negative ads against me in a, in a six-week period. Now, I'm just a small business owner. Uh, I have not been in elected office. This is the second time I'm running for this seat. I lost to Wu before we all found out about his exploits. But the fact that the DCCC and Nancy Pelosi's House Majority Super PAC and SEIU and Emily's List and Planned Parenthood, NARAL, the AFL-CIO, even today Obama for America got involved in my race, all of these people, all of these organizations are trying to assassinate my character because they do not want a job creator in this particular seat. And that's why there's such momentum here because the people of Oregon recognize enough's enough, we can't afford more of the same. And that's what my opponent represents. Now, how are you doing financially? Are you able to run any ads on TV? Oh, absolutely. In fact, people can go on our website, CornelisForCongress.com, see the ad that we just released today. It essentially reminds voters that my opponent's uh, husband was David Wu's personal attorney. All during those years when he was involved in sex scandals and misbehavior, and they, they participated in the cover-up, which allowed him to be reelected in 2010, which now leaves us as the only district in the country without a voice in Congress. And so this ad very clearly states what, what, how she played a role in that, but more importantly, it indicates that she has no job creation experience. My small business has created 60 jobs over the years. We've helped, we've helped launch hundreds of careers around the country through the service we provide, and they know they can't defeat that record, so they're trying to mischaracterize and assassinate my, my reputation, because that's the only playbook they know how to run with. By the way, don't mind the barking. That's Barney, my dog, who is barking in favor of you, by the way. I, now, what I, is your I, website, I by the way? It's CornelisForCongress.com. The Cornelis is C-O-R-N-I-L-L-E-S. And I will tell you, Mark, we would love to have your listener support around the country. We're just days away from making this happen, but we need every little bit of help we can get so we can defend and, more, more importantly, make sure that we stay on message in these remaining days. Remember, Oregon is vote by mail, so some
some people have already voted. So it's really critical that we get our message on the air immediately, even more than we're doing now. And I think we're going to see a huge story next Tuesday night. I just think it's important for uh, the nation to understand that listens to this audience that this is a race. This race is taking place. Nobody's been talking about it nationwide. So I want to talk about it. I dig deep into these races. Uh, we want Rob Cornillis for Congress. That's C-O-R-N-I-L-L-E-S for Congress.com, Oregon's first congressional district. This would be a big blow to the left. And I want to wish you all the best, my friend, and I hope my audience will give you some support. Thank you, Gray One. I sure appreciate all that you do, and I appreciate your listeners' help at this point. God bless you. You take care, folks. I bet you didn't even know about this race, those of you outside of Oregon. I learned about it two weeks ago from a dear friend of mine.